All right, I'm just gonna do a camp tour here. Here's uh, where I'm digging. Uh, the cut, I guess you would call it. I haven't named it yet though. Uh, pickaxe, shovel. Here's the trommel. I got about two and a half, or just about, yeah, just over, just over uh, half a yard. Run through here yet. Run through, run through here so far. I was getting kind of tired, so I just kind of quit it. To, I'm counting kind of 200, 450 shovelfuls as a yard, and I got about 250 in through here right now since I put it back, put the uh, sluice box back together. Wheelbarrow. Here is my. I haven't tried it out yet, but I got a little cleanup sluice instead of panning all the concentrate out of that sluice box. I'm going to run it in this sluice box and then pan the concentrate out of here. Hopefully, get it down to one or two pans uh, instead of uh, like 20 with the concentrate out of there. So, I got the water pump here. It's got a garden hose off a, a little attachment on there. So, that goes to the uh, that goes to the uh, uh, the trommel and little garden hose for doing cleanups. There's a little one inch pump that's feeding the uh, cleanup sluice. There's a bunch of hoses here. In the garden, uh, the fire nozzle over there. Part of the high banker, I got to do some cleaning in there because there very well could be gold in that. Stuck, it's stuck on there. Here's the one inch pump. Got myself a little clothesline here. I bought a, a steel cable that I was originally going to use for doing something on the trommel, but never ended up using it. So I figured it would make a good clothesline. So got a bunch of clothes hanging there. And uh, I don't know how I washed it. Was I rinsed out that wheelbarrow really good? Didn't have any laundry soap, but I just put a bunch of shampoo in the, in the water and just... Uh, and just, uh, oh, just wash the clothes in the water, just wrung them out, or I wrung them out side to side, up and down like a washing machine would. And then I dumped that water out, rinsed the wheelbarrow again, filled more water in it, and, uh, and, uh, rinsed it. So, I don't know, it was, I did it before I, did it before I ran a bunch of stuff through the sluice box. So this was kind of, I hadn't, haven't run this trommel before today for probably two or three days now so the water was a little tiny bit brown but not not as bad as it was so it's pretty bad now because i was running just ran a bunch through, through this through the trommel so so not a way most people would want to do it but i'm out here in the bush so that's kind of the kind of the bush way of doing it i guess that's a little pile of concentrate i have to it won't have much gold in it i can't remember where i took where i can't even remember where i got that stuff from but I gotta I'll have to run that through the cleanup sluice too so and the pool noodle this is the other part that from when I was doing the outer edge of that uh, drum uh, I have to it's a lot better than it was I still probably have to put an ease trough thing under there because it's not so much getting gravel on the chain anymore and down below, just more a little bit of water still getting on the chain, so I gotta do a little bit more work for, for that. Here's this high banker, and it's using it as a table right now. There is a uh, my uh, trailer dolly I just bought. I figured it might be helpful to move the trommel around, and plus I got trailers at home I can use it for, so. Oh, I thought it would be it was a good idea. So uh, the wood pile, kindling pile, table, chairs. Got the fire going there. Boxes that I'm using for uh, fire starter. Got my uh, water jug there. Propane stove. I miss. I don't have a. I didn't bring a uh, uh, like a pot or anything. I bought a cast iron frying pan, but I didn't bring a pot or anything. So I. Uh, just been putting the cans right on top of that, that burner, boiling it in the can, then once and eating it out of the can, and then just throwing the can in the fire to get rid of all the uh, all the smell for the bears, <clears throat> and then taking it out, letting it cool down, 
<clears throat> then I could put it in the garbage. I'm kind of burning all my food, food garbage. Don't know if that's the right thing to be doing, but anything like food containers or whatever, I just put in the fire instead of the garbage bag because it's got any smell to it. I don't want to attract bears. Got the coffee maker, some more water, toilet paper, got the coffee, the kettle. Uh, there's the another chair with my shotgun sitting on it. Got a oh, like a firefighting uh, water pack. I'm supposed to have them for the BC mining regulations, so I bought one and just have it sitting there full of water in case I need it. That bag has a bunch of panning stuff, gold pans and stuff like that. The fire extinguisher and just tools, light, boots, the drill, tool bag, a bunch of drill bits. That drill, that thing was regularly like 120 bucks a Canadian tire, but they were selling it for 40 bucks on sale, so I bought it. Uh, yeah, I got a spill kit. That's another thing you have to have in the regulations. Chainsaw helmet, chaps, a few other things. Uh, some tools here. Got all my hoses. That pail has gold in it. Every time I'm fin using the finishing pan, after cleaning out the sluice box, I'm just kind of just dumping whatever's left in that bucket, then when I'm kind of ready to pour it out and weigh it, then I'll clean it out of that bucket. It's got oils for the trommel, spare springs, some spare parts. Here's uh, more hoses. Here's these gas cans are empty. That one's the one I'm working on. And here's a generator with a light, which I don't think I'm going to use that light. I got an LED light over there on the at the at the gazebo, so that light just uses too much electricity off a generator. So here's my uh, brush pile of all the willows I cut up from up here. So I got a three-inch pump and three-inch hose in that in the hole in the bush over there, and my three-inch pump is still over there in the bush from when I was hiding it from when I uh, wasn't spending the night out here. At some point, I'll come and take them out, but. So yeah, that's my uh, camp setup, and hope you are enjoying the video.